The court case between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp is almost coming to an end, with Johnny Depp recently himself with a major weapon in his epic legal battle against his ex-wife Amber Heard. The legal battle between these two Hollywood stars has been going on for almost four years with Johnny getting more losses than wins. However, when a legal battle goes on for that long, all the dirty laundry gets aired in public. For this case, Amber's dirty laundry was the one being aired and it did not take long for the fans to realize who is actually guilty. With the fans now in the know, the court case has still been disappointing for Depp, who has not only been dragged through the mud but also lost many of these cases. But apparently, Depp has finally added a lawyer to his legal team to help him present his case. So, who is this lawyer? Allow me to break it down for you. Prominent attorney Kathleen Zellner, who has famously worked to overturn wrongful convictions, has joined Depp Depp's legal team. Zellner has confirmed she has joined Depp's legal team for his U.S. battle against Amber Heard and exclusively told Page Six in a statement, I've spent the last 30 plus years defending individuals who have been falsely accused of wrongdoing. I welcome adding Johnny Depp to that list and joining his dream team of who share his view and have so effectively been advocating for him. So who is Zellner and why is she so crucial for Johnny's case? Kathleen Zellner has been described as having the rare distinction of winning major verdicts in civil and criminal cases. Most trial attorneys only try cases in one area of law. Ms. Zellner, on the other hand, has won first-degree murder trials, multi-million dollar civil verdicts, criminal and civil appeals, and post-conviction exonerations. She is the only trial attorney in the United States who has won five multi-million dollar record verdicts in the span of 11 months. She currently has the highest civil rights verdict in the United United States calculated per month of incarceration, totaling $1 million per month. In addition to that, Kathleen Zellner has the highest false arrest settlement, calculated at $15,555 per minute for a total of $1.4 million for a 90-minute false arrest. There is no other civil rights attorney in the United States who has won larger verdicts when the months of incarceration or the minutes of false arrest are calculated. By monthly comparison, and a $21 million verdict for 11 years would be $159,000 per month. Another example is a $9 million verdict for four years imprisonment, which totals $187,500 per month. The underlying premise of Zellner's remarkable success is that she's not just practicing law, she is getting unparalleled results. Her ability to win in the courtroom, no matter the type of case, is the result of her creative trial strategies to winning for the victims of injustice. Notable clients Zellner has represented include Stephen Avery, who is the subject of the 2015 and 2018 Netflix series Making a Murderer. Avery spent 18 years of a 32-year sentence in prison before he was exonerated by DNA testing and released in 2003, only to be charged with a different murder two years later. The 2007 trial for the murder of Wisconsin photographer Teresa Halbach, which was the subject of the Netflix series, ended him in being convicted and sentenced to life life imprisonment. Avery and Zellner are still working to overturn that conviction. Zellner also represented Kevin Fox, who is falsely accused of murdering his daughter Riley and exonerated by DNA evidence she sent to a private lab with more sophisticated technology. She also won a $15.5 million verdict for the violation of Fox's civil rights in 2007. Zellner will be a part of Depp's legal team, which includes Adam Waldman and Benjamin Chu as the actor wages a $50 million libel suit against Heard in the United States. Johnny Depp fans are convinced that this was the right move for him to make. I've seen her in Making a Murderer, brilliant at her job with no-nonsense approach. I have a feeling that Amber Heard's word salad approach will not go down well with Kathleen opposite her, one fan wrote. While another one added, Seems incredible to me that Depp needs all of these top-notch lawyers to untangle himself out of this mess Amber Heard has led him into, especially considering the fact that her credibility is pretty much shot now. Just shows the damage false allegations and narratives can do. Another fan wrote, I really hope she can end this madness. It's insane how bad our judicial system is that this is still a thing. I really hope Kathleen can move things forward for Johnny. She's smart, insightful, direct, and doesn't take anybody's crap. Another fan replied saying, Wow, this is a huge deal. I know the media is the least of our concerns, but I'm already enjoying seeing 
seeing them have to retract on all their BS when they hear about this. Zellner is known for only representing the wrongfully accused and convicted. She's exonerated many. Other fans were congratulating Deb for getting her on the team with one particular fan saying, This is so good. She's the reason I joined Twitter when Stephen Avery's case was popular on Netflix. What a king move from Johnny Depp getting her on board. Another one wrote, This is a spectacular crossover event. Amber is going to be exposed and annihilated in court. The 58-year-old actor is suing her in Virginia over a 2019 op-ed in the Washington Post by the Aquaman actress, in which she wrote about being a victim of domestic violence, but which he believes was a libelous attack on him. While she never mentioned Depp's name in the article, he insists it was about him because Heard had previously alleged that she suffered two black eyes, a broken nose, and a broken lip at the hands during a 2015 attack in Los Angeles. Depp denies abusing or assaulting Heard. Johnny Depp was granted the green light to press libel charges against ex-wife Amber Heard in August 2021 despite a UK court ruling that he was a wife beater. The 58-year-old Pirates of the Caribbean star had seemed out of luck after losing a libel suit against The Sun, which penned a 2018 piece accusing the actor of physically assaulting Heard. During the trial, the judge had ruled that the UK's publication claims were substantially true. After carefully examining 14 domestic incidents that reportedly occurred during the pair's tumultuous 15-month marriage, the Justice League actress then tried to use Deb's legal loss to invalidate another defamation case by concerning a 2018 Washington op-ed in which Heard claimed to be the victim of abuse but didn't mention her ex by name, the Times reported. The Aquaman star says that the Virginia court should recognize the UK ruling as both cases involve domestic violence. However, on Tuesday, Fairfax County Chief Judge Penny Ascorrect denied Heard's motion, citing the fact that her interests weren't aligned with the Sun's. The judge wrote specifically that while the Sun's interests were based on the veracity of the publication's claims, Heard's interests relate to whether the statements she herself published were false. As for whether the UK ruling should prevent Depp from pressing libel charges, the judge determined that Heard was not present at the Across the Pond trial and therefore the same rules don't apply. Heard's lawyer argued at the hearing that rejecting the UK judgment gave the Donnie Brasco actor Carte Blanche to sue any publication that referred to him as a wife beater. The judge countered by saying that upholding English libel judgments in the United States would create a dangerous precedent as the UK is more lenient towards defamation plaintiffs. The court also gave Johnny Depp's access to Amber's phone records, which might help to prove Amber faked her injuries. Ms. Heard's counsel has reportedly used these phony photographs at deposition, Depp's lawyer Benjamin Chu alleged to the Circuit Court of Fairfax County in a court filing. Chu also added that the LAPD responded to the alleged violence, they found no injury upon Ms. Heard and no disruption to the penthouse. Ms. Heard and her friends then fabricated photos that she used to obtain an ex-party TRO, temporary restraining order, and a $7 million divorce settlement which Ms. Heard falsely testified in London she gave to the ACLU and, more scandalously, to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles Sick Children with Cancer, Chu alleged in his filing. He added that the LAPD disavowed the photographs and said they did not depict what they saw. With Kathleen on his team, Johnny Depp can finally have Amber prosecuted for all her crimes. But now I would love to hear what you think. Is Johnny Depp finally going to win now that he has a prominent lawyer on his team? Let us know in the comment section below.